All right. Well. She's blind, not deaf. We're here to do your washing. She's not stupid either. Have it your way. We're here to take your money, Granny. We're wasting our time. How much could she have? She digs in trash for a living. Let's get a drink. I'm dry as an overseas prey. She's been digging for 80 years. Must have found something. Hey. Would you look at this? You don't walk into Bottle Street looking like that. That outfit must have cost a lot. Maybe I'll let my girlfriend wear it. Oh, I hear you. Oh, on, shoot. Let's get this guy. Oh. Oof. Okay. Right. These guys sh breathe out fire. I'm going to do a pro move. Whoa. Yes. All right. I know what I said about not killing people, but uh, it's not like I can choke out all three of those guys. Uh, one of them would probably notice. It would be an awkward situation. I hate the small talk. All right, Granny Rags. Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Yes, yeah, me. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. Yeah. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Uh? Go on. Yeah, Just so... <laughs> on the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. That is a... It's kind of... It's kind of humorous how nonchalantly she throws out that line. Got it from the outsider. I told you the knives go on the left. They always come on the left. Okay. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely wound carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard, or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. So this is a bit of a side mission. She wants me to take some infected rat guts and poison a local gang's distillery with them. Now, before I do anything similar to that, I'm going to buy possession. Physically merge with any animal's body for a limited time. At level 2, you can also possess people. While inside another human body, you are too clumsy to do anything but base in actions like opening doors or carry objects. Whew. Yes, and also it has the added effect of when you're done possessing a human, they uh, puke. Because I guess it's nauseating? But they're shy. You'll have to go or they won't come. At this current stage, I can only possess small animals like rats and fish. Now, I'm going to show you a little secret, everyone. She tells me to get lost because she's going to feed the birdies and the birdies are shy. Oh, no, that's not a nice thing. Just garbage. I'm going garbage, 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 garbage. to pee. All of it. That's right, that's right, that's right. Shut the door. 
Nope. Now I'm gonna peep. Two. I'll just let this scene speak for itself. Yeah, birdies. Sweet birdies. Where did my birdies go? Maybe they should pay a visit to those young men. Wouldn't that be a surprise? Oh! There you are. Were you worried about your granny? Hungry chicks, aren't you? Don't eat too much. There will be all kinds of treats later. Don't you worry. Yep. Ugh. There's something... There's something off about Granny Rags. Oh, right. I have Blink now. What am I doing? Okay. Hmm? And just gotta position it right. Yep. There we go. That's the way to the Dunwall Whiskey Distillery. Which is where I'm gonna bring the rat guts once I have them. Leave that for you to pause and read it in your own time if you'd like. Uh, it's definitely the first of many journals that we're going to find in Dishonored that are running along those lines. So there are these two gang guys roughing about. Anyone oh, he's going to take a pee? Alright. Yep. Sorry. Yep. Sleep dark. Let me out. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'll make this poetic. Hold on. Hey. Yeah, yeah, I'll be right there. One second. I'm taking out the trash. Yeah. There we go. What's up? I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was at one time, but now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then, it's scavenging for me. Wanna look at some of the things I found? Good prices, I swear. Alright. He sells sleep darts for a hundred, which is pretty expensive, but he's got the blueprint for lens magnification. So when I take that back to Piero at the end of this mission, I can get a second level of zoom on my mask, which is really cool. Um how many sleep darts do I have right now? I only have 262 coins. I'll save it for now. Oh, hey. Griff, can I hear your secret? He was, he was in prison, prison for five years, years then, then changed, changed his name, name to Griff. No, no one suspects. <laughs> Sometimes the heart can be really vague. It tells you just enough information so that you know something's odd, but you don't really have enough to make any kind of conclusion. I guess that's kind of how it works in real life. What's this one? Healthy appetite. Food heals you? Well, I'm already eating all the food I can. This is good. What's this guy doing? 
Ugh. I'm gonna mention this, because, uh... Michael brought this up when he was doing his Let's Play of Fallen Order. Ooh, I would like to buy agility next. Remind me, guys. Remind me in chat. Um... When a level is just nice and expansive, like how these levels are... Um... But they're only populated by enemies, they don't really feel like environments. And I think Dishonored does a really good job at not hitting that stride that Fallen Order does where, oh yeah, look at this big environment, it's so cool, but the only thing you really interact with are infinitely respawning enemies in the zone. Like, what just happened there is I met Griff, and he's an NPC who's now a shopkeeper, and in the next mission, when I come back to this area, Griff will still be there. It's... Uh, it, it's, uh... One of the things this game does really well are responses to your choices. There's a second wall of light up ahead. But I'm gonna go get to Dr. Galvani's offices first. Let's go with the easy route. This is an interesting area. We're gonna learn more about the rat plague in this lab. Galvani's lab? Yeah, I think so. Then you have to scrub. The rats get their vital essence. Just taking whole pistols for their bullets. Oh, sweet, is that bread? Oh, and now I'll demo dark vision for you. See through walls. That is. That's, uh, on the nose. Let's you see living things through walls. And their cones of vision. I wasn't here. Uh, I just gotta wait for them to clear out. Then I can head into the main stairway. Is this what it's going to be like when we're married? It is, isn't it? I hope not. I'm telling you now, I don't have the endurance for it. So, what I said earlier, I guess I was a, a wrong. There are a couple of guards throughout the game that you meet that are pretty well humanized. They're not all psychopaths. You're just a bystander. No need to worry. Oh, that was kind of violent. I like, meant to drop her. I didn't mean to throw her. Okay, watch. Sleep darts. And a journal. Been invited to a soiree at the Boyle Estate. Of course I won't attend. The 28th day of the 7th month, the month of high cold, is the day I met Anton Sokolov at the Academy. Why would I tarnish the anniversary of the most important day of my life by licking aristocratic brutes? I will solve the riddle of this plague. 28th day, 7th month, most important day of my life. And do you know what we just saw? Yes. Two. Eight. Seven. Yes. So I just picked up two giant gold ingots. Um, Corvo's built. He, that's how he can crouch around so much. He does gold training. Uh, just don't turn around. Okay, good. I really appreciate that you let me do that. Wait. Oh, yeah, and I picked up a key from him. There you go. That was not throwing, that was dropping. 
Oh, and this is a kind of dark room. For dissection? individual test tubes? Oh no, just these. What do we got? Galvani Academy notice. Galvani, the latest case should arrive within a week containing all the components you need. Be careful with the white phosphorus. Can't have you getting fossy jaw like the tanners at the edge of the city, poor bastards. Sorry you have to practice in secret. The vivisectionists should be celebrated, revered even. Cutting up rats should be done in the town square with a crowd of eager students taking notes. Not in some dirty little secret room hidden behind a wall of books. Anyway, lucky for you to have an old friend who never left the academy. Let me know what else you need, but remember it might be a month before I can put together another shipment. Yours in knowledge, Artemis Moore. B.S. Next time you're nearby, come in for an afternoon. We've stayed fairly isolated from the plague since so few and come and go here, and we've got quite the stock of Tivy and Mirandi. Hmm. Oh, oil. So, yes, that is a secret bookshelf with a fake book lever. Bull rat fetus. Before we go any further with this, I would like to address some information here. Ooh. Listen in. Obviously the plague rat is distinct from the ordinary rat, but in what respect? Its size and the coarseness of its fur, and I believe in intelligence, although the experiments there are not complete. Coriander Zoological Survey describes only the ordinary rat, which means plague rats have only been here for five or seven years at most. This was not a gradual migration. Could they have been introduced on purpose? Perhaps by a foreign power. Yep. And... Oh, this is a good one. Once the plague came, the rats were different. Meaner, bigger, and a little quicker. You had to watch yourself. If you got cornered, they'd turn and swarm would come at you. I barely got away with my skin a few times down in the sewers. The bites hurt afterwards, but it was the sounds that stayed in your dreams at night. It got more dangerous, and the city watch started paying better, but that didn't last long after a while. Too many people had been stripped clean trying to fill up a bag. One slip, and they'd be all over you, growing and gnawing, trying to chew down to the bone. That's how I lost my poor Benji. Um, and this. For over a year, I've studied this cursed plague, collecting and dissecting rats by the thousands, giving their rapid gestation and maturation cycle it's possible to breed them for numerous generations. The rodents themselves seem immune to the plague, but they readily pass it between members of their own species, perhaps through mites. The blood of rats tells its own story, allowing me to gauge the number of generations that a given group of rats have lived with the plague. As such, a nagging question remains. The rats collected in the poorest parts of town, in the slums, exhibit the oldest strains of the plague. While those found near the docks, where the foreign plague-bearing rats would presumably have entered our city, exhibit a younger strain of the plague. Could this mean that the rats were transported to the slums in some way that was not obvious? I will continue my research. And then he just talks about the elixirs. So, yes. When you come here for the first time, it is the first indication that something about the rat plague itself doesn't add up. There's a bit of intrigue in that regard. Older rats in the slums. And the fact that... Plague rats... Are actually a different species of rat that carries the plague. As opposed to the normal rats that live here. Alright, I picked up the guts. Whenever I use blink, it uses a small amount of mana, that blue bar there. And it's a small amount that it'll actually recharge if I just wait. So I can use blink indefinitely as long as I'm patient. But if I take something like possession, uh, it consumes more and so it only regenerates a set amount 
and uh, it'll cons it'll consume more than I can regenerate. So I do have to keep potions on hand for that. What's nice is that if you have a little bit of exploring in you, it's pretty easy to find potions. So you can use your powers to your heart's content. Touched by the outsider he is, given dark powers. He can slit your throat across the room. Well, that'd give him a leg up for sure. There's no coincidence that most men won't even whisper his name. Is it true that he lives in the flooding trap? Them weepers and wild hounds. That's what they say. Perfect place for a paid killer to hide. Don't be sour. They say, when's Slackjaw coming down? Not till the next batch of elixirs. Oh, oh sweet, there's a loot in there. Then you better get all your shit together, huh? Everything's fine. I run the still like I run a game of Nancy. Yeah. Little bastard. And a rewire tool so you can use that on most machinery and it basically makes it do the opposite of what it's programmed to do with the wall of light it'll start zapping everyone except me there we go Lots of good loot, as long as you have the knack to look around. And I just made a really loud noise, but I don't think anyone heard. Oh, I guess someone did. Dark vision. Yes, because there's a guy down here. Yep. Just putting you to rest. Some top notch security. Alright. Excuse me. Now, this bootleg elixir, you can actually create some elixir. And it's essentially free. The problem is I'm full up because I didn't actually take any damage. Next batch. And Griff has to, which is a fun little detail. Uh-huh. Infect bootleg elixir. This place is now really unhealthy to work at. up albinos 
pet our white rats slightly more often. Uh, that may seem just uh, as a joke, like a useless kind of bone charm. But there are other bone charms that affect white rats specifically, which is fun. I believe there's one that lets you possess white rats for way longer than usual. The nobleman laid with the scullery maid, so loudly they made the rise. Got anything to smoke or eat? Blow up. Ooh. You see why Blink is so good? It's a good getaway. I feel like a lot of stealth games can use a short-range teleport like Blink. Ooh. Tricky to get back. There we go. Explosive bottle? Oh, shoot! I shouldn't have thrown that. Come on! Spread out! Um... I've caused myself an inconvenience here. Someone's messing with me. Must have been done. All right, back to Bottle Street. All right, now that's all done. Let's go talk to Granny Rags. Whee. I guess the rats got to him or something. She wouldn't put the crackers on the roof. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Now I can stroll along the waterfront in peace. And don't think I've forgotten your little gift. Go on upstairs, dear one. All right. I may have poisoned a lot of people, but I did get a rune out of the deal. That will never wash. Never, never, never. Yes. There's one more rune you can get from Granny Rags in the little shrine behind your house. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family. But an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? Ooh. All right. Every time you visit an outsider shrine, in addition to just picking up the rune that's there, the outsider comes and he talks to you. And what he says actually does depend on what you've done already. I believe he'll also comment on your current morality standings, the chaos system in this game. Um, but he's still a very neutral guy, so not that much really goes down. Yep. I'll try and visit every outsider shrine I can because it is kind of cool to talk to him. What happened? I... nothing happened. Huh. Oh! Right, I have a new power. I'm gonna buy agility. I have a double jump now. Another patrol with you. Yeah, nice. I 
don't think I can really get past this one too well. Dark vision. We gotta see what's going on here. These things burn out faster than shit. Maybe wind or something. Chance you'll share your food with me tonight? Shut up. Huh? Shoot. Okay. I gotta stop saying all right, okay, all right. This is what I'm doing. I'm getting nervous. Oh. One last thing there. Seen anything scary? You're such a chop. Come on, do something. Turn around. Oh, no, stupid gut. Number somehow. Oh, you got it right. Yep. Ah, Corporal Meadows. We found the strange rune on a woman who sells pastries up the street. We confiscated it. And you gave it to Corvo because you let him steal it. Square. All right. Oh, finally, I'm here. 